Hey guys, Donna Brown here. Hope you're doing well. Do you know your theoretical hourly rate? So this is a concept that I teach a lot of my mentorees and I thought it would be something that I would teach you because it's really beneficial when you're working out your package pricing. So I am a big believer of no timesheets. My whole ethos is no timesheets. Uh, it's what I base my entire business around. And I love helping uh, people, into, especially virtual assistants, build a business that has no um, timesheet element to it. That is no time tracking needed. You know, none of your clients are buying you based on time. They're ba buying you based on the results that you bring into their world. But I do think it's important that you understand your theoretical hourly rate. And that is when you design a package, I always say to my mentorees, how long would it take for you to implement this package, to deliver the goods? How many hours will it take? And when you work that figure out, it might take four hours to deliver this package. It might take three hours to deliver that package. It might take you 10 hours. Then you divide that by the package rate. And that is your theoretical hourly rate. If you were theoretically going to charge per hour for that project, that's how much the hourly rate would be. Now, the reason why I call it theoretical hourly rate is because it's not a public piece of information. The client doesn't know how long it's taking you to do the job. And you're definitely not pricing your, um, your package based on how many hours it takes you to do. But it is a valuable piece of information for you to be aware of so you know that you're not undercharging yourself. Because if your theoretical hourly rate is $5 more than your original public hourly rate, there's a good chance your package fee is too low. There should be a much bigger margin. Now, the other good thing about it is if you're delivering a package and it takes you a very, very long time and you work out your theor theoretical hourly rate and it's quite small, that means the price that you have set for your package is too small um, or you need to refine the way you're delivering that service so it's a bit faster. And obviously, understanding your theoretical hourly rate will also enable you to um, ma map out a plan on how you're going to deliver that, fast, that service faster and more efficient so your theoretical hourly rate increases. Now, whenever I um, talk to my mentorees about it, I say, you know, this is just internal information for you. This is just for your own measurement, your own tracking, your own understanding on how long things are taking you so you can make sure that the profit margin you're building into your packages is there and is appropriate and is giving you a buffer for you to absorb other business costs. So that is what theoretical hourly rate is. It's not a public piece of information. It's not something that your clients are aware of. It's for your internal information and knowledge so you can ascertain and confirm that the package rate that you are charging your clients is correct and it's making you money. So if you haven't worked this out before and if you are creating your own packages, go, go away and figure it out because if your theoretical hourly rate is less the same or only marginally higher than your original public hourly rate, then you need to do some repricing, I think. <laughs> if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.